Hi friends, welcome to my new skit. This time I would like to deliberate on Rai Saheb Pudhiya Virtil Kobalan, who lived between the years 1871 and 1928. Now, to begin with, Pudhiya Virtil Kobalan was Tellichari Municipal Councillor and member of Tellichari Town Firka Taluk Board. He was elected by the Taluk Board as Member Secretary of the District Board. He returned unopposed as President of Malabar District Board in the year 1916. That was when Madras Presidency Governor, His Excellency Lord Wellington inaugurated the Labour Department under the supervision of George Pattison, ICS, and as protector of the depressed class for the presidency. Kobalan was appointed special officer in Madras district for the promotion of basic education among depressed class students. As lay assistant labor commissioner for the district, assistant labor commissioner for Malabar district, Kopalan refused grant in aid to private management schools that closed its doors to depressed class students. Labor schools provided for remission of fees, stipendary scholarship and midday meals. Labor schools are not placed under the Directorate of Public Instruction, DPI, but rather was placed under Public Works and Labor Department, supervised by district collectors. They later, these labor schools later became known as Panchama schools. Gopalan was member of the Justice Party, a justicide, and, and as a member of amelioration of backward class society organized under Raja Ram Mohan Roy's Brahma Samaj. Rai Sahib Gopalan was also member of DMRT that is Devadar Malabar Reconstruction Trust formed in the year 1918 under Gopal Krishna Gokhale's Servants of India Society. Gopalan was Joint Secretary Central Relief Committee with M. S. Madhavarao as the secretary. P. V. Gobalan was conferred with the title of Rao Sahe, Rai Sahe, in the year 1922 for his meritorious service in organizing 22 relief and rehabilitation camps in Calicut district for 26,000 victims and evacuees of Mopula outbreak in Ernad Taluk in 1921. 
when Madras Legislative Council came into being under the Government of India Act of 1919. Gobalan was nominated by His Excellency the Governor, Lord Wellington, as Legislative Councillor and he functioned his office from February 1923 till December 1926 under the Prime Ministership, Madras Prime Ministership of the Raja of Panegal. Rai Saheb Gopalan married Narayani, sister of Dr. Miss V. V. Lakshmi, V. V. Janagi, I beg your pardon. He married Narayani, sister of Dr. Miss V. V. Janagi, who was assistant civil surgeon at Lady Goshen Maternity Hospital, Mangalore, in the year 1907. The Pudyavirtil family at Telichore was shipping sub-agents to Walcott Brothers at Telichore. His uncle, Pudyavirtil Chinnan, was honorable member of the jury at the court of sessions of the North Malabar Division at Telichore. P. V. Chinnan married Punyakali, sister of V. V. Chandrasekhar, IPS, who became director, supplies and disposals, Government of India. Chandrasekhar married Dr. Parimala Koman, who was the daughter of Rao Bahadur Sir M. C. Corbin of Tail in Kano, who was assistant civil surgeon at the General Hospital Madras in the year 1890. Gopalan's niece, P. V. Lakshmi, was registrar at Inspector General of Registrar Office situated at Mount Road, Madras. Gobalan's children include P. V. Rabindranath, Captain Rabindranath, Captain of the ship S. S. Sabarmadi, flying between Goa and Bombay. Another son was English professor P. V. Rajkobal of Farooq College, Calicut. Another son, P. V. Sedura, Seduratnam, was Deputy Director, Gordon and Woodroff, Private Limited, Madras. Another son, Lieutenant General P. V. Ramachandran, who was Director General, Director General, Army Medical Corps, and Colonel Commandant, Military Nursing Service. Earlier, when he was a brigader, Ramachandran, Brigadier Ramachandran, led the Indian contingent under United Nations Commission for Truce, Supervision and Control in Indochina in the year 1950. Gopalan's daughter, P. V. Ratnavalli, who married Bhatia, a Parsi, and her son Bhatia married film star Gaudami, <clears throat> but later divorced her after a few years. Another daughter, Gopalan's another daughter, P. V. Satyavadi, backed Star of India Award during Festival of India at Edinburgh, UK in the year 1950. P. V. Gobalan, Rai Saheb Gobalan, bequeathed 
वन एकर ऑफ जन्म प्रॉपर्टी एट चुटकाट विच बिकेम मुख्य वॉसमेट्री नोन एस गोबाल पेटा दस नेम्ड इन हिस मेमोरी His ancestral house at Chalil, Telichuri, was sold to Apumarakan, and the family migrated to Calicut, where they lived in Calicut, lock, stock, and barrel. The present Express Vihar Apartments at Vallail in Calicut originally housed P. B. Kobalan's defunct Ruxana. Ruxana Now Rai Saheb Gobalan died of cardiac arrest on 20th June 1928 I think I have given sufficient elaboration on Rai Saheb Gobalan and such elucidation we think would however suffice So then uh, have a nice day